错。Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. At a long overdue episode of bartending at home with John and Kim. I think this one because he's constantly busy on the weekends and like doing a dry month, which he's currently doing now. So he's not even gonna drink, but we keep delaying it. So we're just gonna film it, and I will drink one of them. <laughs> okay. So what are we making today, John? So we're gonna be making、uh, two versions of the Inception Negroni. So we first had this drink at. Prohibition in Vancouver.、Um, it's a really cool drink where、uh, you get two Negronis in one. Yeah. So pretty much, I'm gonna show you after, guys. But we made ice spheres and we froze them for about five hours. You take them out and there's a hole inside. I'll show you. You'll see in the video afterwards. And we dump out the water, freeze it, and then we put a colored Negroni. So we did red, the regular Negroni, and then the Empress. Which is why we call this the Empress Strikes Back because of our Death Star <laughs> ice spheres. Okay, so we're gonna go into that video right now, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna be doing this binging with Babbage style. Just kidding. I don't have as soothing a voice as he does, but yes. So we have our lovely spheres. So these are the、um, Death Star Star Wars ice spheres, just cause. Our friend Lewis got us these, but our straws do not fit through the top for these ones. This one, they do. Bada. Okay. So first, you're gonna grab straws, measure it out so there's a bit of a piece sticking out on the top. Then for the top, you're gonna tape it. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna take the top of the straw and I'm just going to roll that up. A little bit too high. Okay. All right. Once you have your straws ready, I'm just going to pour in some water with my measuring cup because that's a lovely spout. Just so I don't spill too much in there. Now I find with these Death Star ice spheres, you should fill about three quarters of the way. Yeah, that's why I do like these ones better, just 'cause you fill it up to the line in here, you place the top, and then it fills up. So, <sighs> still experimenting on how much water I should put in here. So once you've stuck in the straws, you're gonna stick these in the freezer for three hours, just so the outside is frozen, not the inside. So be right back. Yeah. So as you can see, there are some troubles. With that ice here, because we did only three hours that first time, and it was way too thin. So for our freezer, we thought five hours was pretty good. So yes, if you'd like to see how we make the Inception Negroni, please stay tuned. Right Negroni, so we have our local gin, which is picked up in LA. It's very nice, very delicious. Lele Blanc, and Cochi Americano. Okay, so super easy, guys. Just three ingredients: add ice. Ooh, stir that up. Okay, 
and then set that aside for now. All right, for the fun part, guys. So, lovely ice sphere, you can see, maybe. <laughs> okay, so it's hollow inside, guys. It's fantastic. So, I'm just gonna stick that in. The cup, the glass. Okay, so, guys, so I'm gonna take this tiny funnel. You can also use a medicine dropper, eye dropper. We just don't have one, so we're just making do, friends. So, I pour the Empress Negroni I made earlier into a measuring cup to pour in here and just take your time with this, guys. Take your time. So make sure you chill your drink first, guys, just because alcohol obviously melts the ice a lot faster. And also, we're not going to do this today, but if you would like to make these ahead of time, if you want, fill it put some uh, crushed ice to cover the top. Refreeze it again before you put it into the cup, guys. I think there was a hole in mine. That's okay. All right, guys, and back to the white macaroni. You're just gonna pour it on the outside, guys. definitely be able to see it better with the red macaroni and then for the empress I'm just going to grab a lemon peel okay. I'm going to squeeze the peel release the oils twist put that right on top And here are our lovely Inception Negronis. So John's ice sphere was very tilted, so it just doot, doot, doot. So you can see it poured into the drink, guys. So that's essentially what it is. So as you drink it, the ice melts, and then you get another drink that just like mixes with the other one, and it's, it's very nice. At first we thought it was really expensive, but it's like it's two drinks in one, so it made sense. So yeah, I mean, preferably if you have time to do it, you definitely should fill the hole on the top so you don't. Or you just don't tip it over like I did. Kim's is fine. <laughs> so. Ta-da! <laughs> it's okay. All right, so I guess cheers to myself. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's really nice. The white Negroni is really nice, guys. It's just more fruity and lighter. Those of you who don't like herbaceous things, I would definitely go with this version. It's not as aggressive, even though it is two drinks in one. Okay, then my favorite of the faves, guys. Okay, so it's white and regular Negroni. Oh, it's so nice. It's like your classic regular herbaceous Negroni, guys, and it's like lightened up by a little bit with that white Negroni. It's very balanced. It makes it a lot more approachable. So, for people who, um, if a Negroni is a bit too strong, because it is quite, um, a spirit forward cocktail um, mixing it with the white is really nice and uh, if I didn't tip it over and as you were drinking the white and it would slowly transition into a blend that would also work a lot better than than what happened here but <laughs> it was still good guys. I will post a detailed blog post okay yeah. <laughs> on how we did this and also the previous photos of the first time we did it and it was a success and it looks really good and it just it took a while to melt which is good and it was really nice so yeah and yeah so um just to reiterate i think when we had it i guess a year ago at uh prohibition it was 30 dollars a drink we make it at home with uh equal parts of everything so it ends up being about a six ounce drink um, i'm assuming at prohibition it'll be probably a four to four and a half ounce drink 
because um, they'll likely use equal parts, but whether that they scale that down to 0.75 ounce of each, or they could potentially use a full ounce. So it is a very boozy cocktail and it tastes delicious, so you gotta be aware. Okay, so be safe, friends. <laughs> Alright, and that is it, my friends. Thanks for tuning in after a long hiatus. Okay. We will try to do more videos, guys. Forgive us right now. John and I are training for our upcoming fights. So we gotta eat a little cleaner, not drink as much, cut a little bit. So yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Comment below if you like this video. If you like more, if you want more of these videos and to rush us to make more of these videos, <laughs> okay? But yes, remember you'll never succeed if you're afraid to drive, guys. Drink responsibly. Can't even remember what I say anymore, honestly.